Hello my lovely Sagittarius, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is a general reading for all Sagittarius sun, moon and rising. So please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate then leave it where it is. Okay, angel spirit guys, what's the message for our lovely Sagittarius please? What's the message for our lovely Sagittarius please? You've got the two of pentacles. So the moment you've got to find some balance in your life, Sagittarius, something feels out of balance. Maybe you're working on one thing but neglecting something else. Uh, maybe you just feel a little bit out of sorts at the moment. We are in uh, retrograde at the moment till the 1st of October. So you could be feeling a little bit out of balance and a bit all over the place. So you need to ground yourself, I feel, and find some balance in your life uh, with this Two of Pentacles here. So let's see what else Tarot has to say for us. So Angel Spirit guys, what else for our lovely Sagittarius, please? What else for our lovely Sagittarius, please? Whoa, it's too many cards, thank you. Okay. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, you feel very much in your protective energy right now. Like you're defending yourself against something. Could be something at work. Um, oh, that one flew out. What's this one? Oh, the Three of Wands. Yes, okay. That's too many cards, thank you. So you are protecting yourself at the moment. Maybe you're protecting something that you want to do with your life and people are just telling you not to do it or feel that don't they just don't understand it and when people don't understand something they can get quite um guarded and they can try and change your mind because they they just don't understand what you're talking about and the two of ones and the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing, there's a lot of wands here, seven, three, two, and eight of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire energy here, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So this is definitely your energy or someone with the same fire element in their chart. Okay, so like I said, the two of pentacles is about you finding balance right now. You feel very out of sorts, very like one thing's working in your life but the other's not. You're working towards something but you're neglecting something else. It's about you trying to find that middle ground, about grounding yourself and being able to find the balance in everything that you're doing right now you've also got the seven of wands so i do feel like you're protecting something so this could be a protecting a business protecting children or just prote protecting your yourself um from a negative and bad energy maybe you have or you um you or you're at the beginning of a spiritual awakening a journey you're seeing things differently uh you're no longer you you know that there are certain people in your life that suck the energy out of you. You're very protective towards something at the moment. You, you, you're very much like, this is mine. This is something I'm working towards. And even though you're coming at it with your negative Nelly energy, then, you know, I am going to protect it and I am going to push this away. You've also got the three of ones. I, I really do feel for a lot of you, you're having a spiritual awakening. And you're starting to realise that there is more out in the world than what you're living at the moment. The world is a big, a massive place. The universe is even bigger. And you know there is there is just more out there than people can realise or people can see. And you're wondering of whether to, um, what direction you want to go in right now. You've also got the two of ones is here as well. It's about making choices. I feel that you have to make some tough choices at the moment of where you want to go. I feel for some of you, this might even be um, a new location, uh, moving away from family, friends, whatever it may be, for a new job opportunity, or just the fact that you feel that you just want to move away and start afresh again. But you, you know that your spiritual awakening, you're seeing the world as it needs to be seen and not with all the society and everything else that clouds it. You're seeing that there is so much more out there for you and you want to go and explore this and you want to go and, and be more knowledgeable and find new things. Um, and it means, it means that you've got to make a, a really tough choice right now. Like, do you stay where you are and just stay in your surroundings to learn or do you take that leap and move away um, in a direction, in a different direction to learn, to focus, to, to do whatever you feel that you need to do. You have to make a tough choice. 
because the world is a big place. Like you might have everything. This is why you're protecting it. You might have the home, uh, the, the job, the career, that whatever it is, you might have it all, but you know there is something else out there that is calling you. You feel that calling to do something, but you don't know what. So you're thinking about going out and exploring different avenues, different situations, different countries, towns, whatever it might be, to try and find the answer to what is calling you to do something more. And you've also got the eight of wands. I feel that when you make this choice, when you start exploring your avenues and which direction you want to go in, this is when you're going to, um, things are going to move pretty quickly for you. The universe wants to move for you. The universe wants to bring things into your, into your life, but they can't until you move. It's like you take one step, the universe takes 10. But while you're still here trying to figure out what it is trying to balance everything and trying to figure out what it is that you want to do the universe can't move so you've got to ground yourself find the balance protect yourself from negative nellies and really discover what it is that you want to do with your life and then take action and once you start taking that action the universe is going to move for you so what advice do we need for our lovely uh, Sagittarius please what advice do we need for our lovely Sagittarius please show me what we need to know Show me what we need to know. Okay. Oh, too many cards. Thank you. Hold your vision was the one that came out there. Hold your vision. Okay. What you're seeing, what you're believing, your values, your beliefs, it's real. It's there. Hold it. Don't let anybody come in and sway. And that's under the seven of wands. People are going to come in and tell you're stupid or what you're thinking about and they're going to question it. But hold your vision because it was given to you because you're the one that can bring that dream and that vision into a reality. What else do our lovely uh, Sagittarius need to know, please, for advice? Time to release negativity. Like I said, you've got a negative Nelly in there, so it's time to release them. It's time to release that negative Nelly out of your life. And you're not completely out of your life, but just like remove your energy from them. Maybe don't hang around with them so much. Whatever it may be, just take that time. Where every time they're talking negative, try and put a positive spin on it. Um, you also got communication is key. So make sure that whatever decision that you're making is you communicate it to the people that need to know very, very clearly. And then finally, you've got your dreams need a practical plan. It's great to have dreams and goals, but if there's no plan, there's no action. So to be able to have the eight of wands, which is a fast action movement, you need to have a plan. So decide what it is that you want to do, create a plan and then take the action and the universe will move with you. But don't let go of your vision. Okay, final message for our lovely Sagittarius, please. Final message for our lovely Sagittarius, please. Okay. Clear your mind. Yes, you need to clear your mind to be able to get the answers from your angels. The angels and your intuition speak very, very quietly, like a whisper, where your ego shouts very loudly and screams and shouts at you. And that's why it's really hard to hear what your angels and your intuition are telling you. So what you need to do, uh, Sagittarius, is uh, quieten down that ego and just try and sit with yourself. Like you say, two of pentacles, ground yourself. Find some time where you need to ground yourself so you can clear your mind and hear the message that is meant to, that the angels are trying to tell you. And on the bottom of the deck, again, we've got find balance. You need to find balance in your life right now. It's very, very important you find balance because that's when you're going to get the answers that you're seeking. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Sagittarius. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonated, drop it in the comment box below. If you'd like a personal reading with me, then please do check out my Etsy shop. The, the link is in the description box below. It's RM Tarot, and I can do a personal reading for you. Again, don't forget to comment as I love to connect with you all, and I read and respond to every message. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe, and that notification bell, and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I hope whenever you're watching this, you are having a great day today, and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.